All right, so I've decided to make some changes uh, to how we do things around here. And this is sort of the beginning of said changes. I've decided that we're gonna have Strategy Saturday, where we do strategy things. That's what this is. And we're gonna have Tactics Tuesday, and then we're gonna have Narrative Thursday, where we do what we were doing before. And I know Narrative Thursday doesn't alliterate, but I didn't want it to be Story Sunday, because I don't want to do consecutive days. But anyway, today, we're going to be looking at World War I. This is the Great War mod for Napoleon Total War. Let's see where it puts us. $10,000, all right. So basically the question here is how how difficult is it going to be to win World War I as Britain when the rest of the world does not exist, right? Because you don't have India or Australia or South Africa or Canada. You don't have the United States to back you up. You just got, you, you got these islands. This is what you got. There's nobody to buy war material from. You gotta do it all on your own. I've played a bunch of this mod before. I've played as um, some of the neutral countries, actually. But also as Germany and Austria-Hungary and Russia. And it, I mean, like the question is, is how, how big of a military can such a small landmass support? That's really the question in my mind. Because when you're playing as, like, Russia, it's just a question of building all this infrastructure enough to where, um, to where you can have as many armies as you need. But, like, right now... And I'm going to need a fleet, which is a significant problem. Because, like, let's look at these uh, costs here. Did they update this? Or is this rebalanced because I'm the United Kingdom, so it's easier for me to build battleships? But still, like... Okay, at my current... At the default excruciating tax levels. I get 9,000 a turn. Which needs to be spent on infrastructure. So that I get more later, right? And you want to start building these early because they take... Um, like, just the light cruiser is 11 turns. And I think these are, like, 20-something turns to build, the battleships. But I'm going to need a lot of them. If I'm going to have naval supremacy. And having naval supremacy on the back of this puny landmass. Not having the rest of the British Empire. So basically what I'm saying is, if you take away all the colonies, Germany has an advantage. Uh, what do we want to research? We want trench... Uh, no, we want this first. So we can build better railroads. As you can see. Uh, but the trench warfare... That technology is required post haste. So that I can recruit like actual real units. That will actually be effective in trench warfare. Enterprise and Wasp, are these US aircraft carriers? I'm confused. Um, we don't want that. We want this. Same, same here. And what tax levels do I want? Probably... just so that I can start building shit. 
Oh yes, of course. I start with no troops in Gibraltar. Wonderful. Which means I'm probably going to want to haul artillery down there. Because in this mod, just like in the real war, if you don't have artillery, you're fucked. Speaking of which, let me just disband this cavalry real quick. We won't be using them. Uh, I got one knee in it. And the field guns suck, so... Do I... No, do I have to build the next one? Yeah. I just have to build this guy. And then this unit right here is uh, what we're going to be using for artillery for some time. And for infantry, well, once I have trench warfare, I'll be able to have good infantry. I mean, nothing against the Highlanders, but, you know, they have 10 meters less rifle range than the actual infantry. I'm going to get rid of that real quick, because I want it to make money instead of what it's doing right now. And yeah, enter. I want to get this spy over to the continent, though. Probably try to put him in Brandenburg. Berlin, I mean. But, you know. Do I want two industrial centers? Not sure. Because I have this town to bump up my tax rate. Like, I already have a university here. People in London are going to hate me. Uh, I think for the moment I will build railroads, though. the fuck happened to my income? Does having the ships out of port increase their upkeep costs? I... I feel like I remember suspecting that. Well, anyway. Do I have to build the next one to have light infantry? Do it do I not have light infantry? I mean these guys probably count, but Oh well. Oh well. I mean, at a certain point, every light infantry, or every infantry in this mod is light infantry, so. There's that. I need to build that uh, thing in London for my artillery. That's very important. It takes 4,000.
Well, that happened quick. I mean, I guess it is September 1914, huh? Although, really, that happened in August. Like, if this was realistic, the, if this was realistic, what I'm, what I'm trying to say is that in real life, we all had, like, multiple stacks of armies already sitting next to everybody else's borders and we were already super developed so we're not like building shit like i am right now because everybody knew a war was coming but anyway trench warfare there we go put the spy on land and I'll blockade, blockade a German port. What do you got here, by the way? I think I remember they start with like three capital ships, maybe? It might be two. Who do I got for generals? Oh yeah, that's the thing about this mod is, uh, like, if you look at your ministers, you're like, oh yeah, those are the ministers. We got Churchill over here running the navy. We got Kitchener running the army. We got, I don't actually know who that is, but Lloyd George, I know who that is. And Herbert Ashley is a prime minister. Wasn't Lloyd George the prime minister? Or maybe he was later. I don't know who, how whoever was running things before me managed to build this fleet, but I am appreciative. That's fine. We'll just sit in there. Unless he gets shot. Which is always a possibility. It's going to be a long time before I'm able to actually be offensive. So I can barely afford to upkeep the units that they gave me to start the game. Man. You know, I'll just wait. Wait until I can afford to build the rail system. Because that's like the most important thing. There we go, I got a spy network. So now I know what's happening on the continent for what good it does me. I've just been neglecting Gibraltar heavily. That's okay. I mean, it's, it is a largely indefensible area. At least, like, at, at, at the moment. If I could ship some artillery down there. But at the moment, I don't even have artillery to defend the home islands, so... We're doing what we can. Because I think this AI will land troops on your, on your uh, coast, if they can. They will go for it. Alright. It is interesting, because I'm just in this race to build and industrialize as quickly as I can. So that I have enough money to do more industrialization, so that I have enough money to have an army. Because that's the, that's the only way I'm going to stand a chance, is if I just build shit. Because when you're on the continent, you, you're already fighting, you know? I 
think I'm going to start recruiting artillery just in case somebody lands on my coastline. I might recruit the rest of the Highlanders and then sit on my army for a while. Because, well, like, I have to have somebody. The Germans land on the coast and they're like, who do you have here? One artillery unit? Like, three infantry? What are you doing? But even just, like, one army's worth of upkeep costs will break me right now. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll spend that money right now. I've never understood why the AI spends all its time moving around single units on the map. I mean, I guess when you're an AI, you can keep track of all that. Very difficult to understand them. Okay, well. I am so far from being able to actually build a fleet. It's gonna be a while. It's March 1915, and I don't even have like enough troops to defend my island. Okay, I shall build this, and still four turns left on that. Okay, and I'll spend the rest. Oh, how much artillery do I want? I mean, I'll end up needing the artillery eventually. I'm sure. Who's this? Oh, another gentleman. You guys finish with that trench warfare shit? I know it's difficult when I'm not fighting an actual war. You know, it's just theoretical stuff, but you guys could speed it up, that'd be great. I should probably build this. I can start recruiting some real troops down there. Oh, here we go. This is what I should be doing. Alright. Oh. Well, hello there, sir. If you could just stay in that port for like a couple more turns, just just stay there, just chill out. It'll be great. I promise. You know, I'll, I'll send down some 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 fish and chips and some good English beer or ale. What do what what do British people drink? Gin. How about some iron brew? I'll send out some iron brew. From Scotland. Um, what do I even want? What is... Oh, I get to build Nelson's... Oh, that's... You know... That's... That's... I guess Nelson's column is worth building, huh? Sure. Oh, 
Well, you, you can read that part too. That's cool. I'm not building anything there at the moment. That's, that's not my navy. This is my navy. Here we go. Who do I got for admirals to recruit? Fucking. I don't want to recruit Thomas Cochran because then I'll be sad when he dies. Because the admirals do die very quickly in this. In this mod. Neither do the sh the, well, the ships also die very quickly, which is I suppose why the admirals die quickly, especially because they always want to be in the first ship in the line, which is oh there we go that's uh yeah that's what we want. What do I want next? Um. Let's increase technology research rate. I need this eventually. Like, talk about a fucking downside. I suppose that's realistic. Anyway. Artillery. And a rail system. The next one's 12,000. Oh boy. Should I? Let me finish doing that. And then I don't have to worry about it. So now I have an army there. So I don't have to spend any more money on military things. I can just build shit. It is interesting how they took the base game and they just made everything like more expensive. But but you can get to a place where you can afford it all. But also the lead time on everything is longer. Like you can't just do that thing in normal Napoleon Total War or Empire Total War for that matter. Where you just like crank out the line infantry which you can build in one turn and then it's the best unit in the game. <laughs> I mean maybe not the best unit in the game but you can play the game with only line infantry. You can win with only line infantry which isn't really true with any other unit. Alright. It's battle time. What do you got? A cargo ship and a transport ship. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Do they even have any guns? I feel like one of them has guns. So, the thing about naval battles in this mod is that... Not really World War One. Like, 
And I guess it's true of the land battles as well, because you're not really allowed to dig trenches. What a, what a nightmare. What happened to these gun carriages? I'm so confused. They're like field artillery, heavy gun carriages, and then the barrel is pointing the wrong way. Anyway, um, you know, just so everybody gets this, I'm gonna flash an image up on the screen of the real Royal Sovereign class, and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. This is not World War One. This is like, like you still have to line up the broadsides. The range is very long, and the shells are explosive, and the ships are fast because they're steamships. But really we're talking about like 1880s maybe um, they are ironclads I'm sure but Queen Elizabeth class as well, and an Invincible class, and then a bunch of light cruisers. But like, we still have sails. We're not using them right now because we're going upwind, but... They're there. What do you got? You got 32 guns, and the transport ship has no guns. Cool. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh, now he's on fire. That's unfortunate. Uh, we should win the battle before you blow up, sir. You could win the battle real quick for me, that'd be great. Oh, he's not on that much fire. He'll be fine. But, like, look at how fast these ships are. This is probably... The speed of these ships is like World War One battle line. Makes sense. But the engagement ranges are closer. As you as you just witnessed. It's not doing too great. They got the fire out. Cool. On HMS Illustrious. Send this army boy back to London. Repair these ports. And I'm going to have to sit here until the port is repaired next turn. And then I'll be able to repair the ships. Okay. We did it. We destroyed the German Navy. I mean, obviously there are limitations to what you can do with uh, the, like, baseline programming of Napoleon Total War. Like, you can't actually give the ships turrets and no sails and all that kind of stuff. And if you look at the way that tanks try to exist on the battlefield in this game and the machine guns and everything else, 
it's 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 kind of shoehorned together and what that results in i think is that really you're fighting world war one in the 1880s that's basically where you end up Oh, I forgot. How much money do I need? Twelve. Okay, fair enough. Oh, that is the light infantry. The Somerset infantry. Okay. Like, I, I assumed that was a special unit with a special name, but... I guess not. Oh, I forgot to send my ships off to blockade the German port once again. Well, I guess there are no downsides. Anyway. Uh, we want to get down to educational reform. Yep. Do I? Oh, okay. Now here's a question that I should have asked earlier. Am I able to trade it with anyone? Nope. Okay. I mean, I already have trade agreements with literally everybody, so... Okay. Alright. Uh, I suppose I could build more ports. Give me more capacity. Oh, uh, which one of these is better? Both had the same downside. I mean, I do have a lot of industrial buildings. This is more regent wealth. With that bonus. I'm... I'm thinking this is the better option. the better option when it's not at home though that's the question it'd be nice to get to the point where i can lower my taxes to something reasonable but that's kind of the thing cuz if you have if you tax highly you impede the growth of your economy essentially which means won't get as much in taxes later on because the economy hasn't grown as much. But if you tax highly now, then you can reinvest the taxes into building the things to make it so that you have more money. It's difficult to be the government. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say.
Oh boy, what are you building? I hope it's not dreadnoughts. Guess that wouldn't be good. This doesn't actually mean what it says, because it's probably a dreadnought or something. I'm... I'm gonna go sit in my home port for a little while with my navy. Interesting. Remember on the first turn when we looked at this and this was 14,000? Well, now it's the real price. Anyway. Oh, I could do that. Yeah, this is gonna be... this is gonna be tricky. Well, anyway, I think that will be it for the inaugural Strategy Saturday. I hope it's been enjoyable, and I will see you guys next time.